first of the Hunter's Chasers here, then it's a two-mile chase. We've got Admiral Ascoli, Martin Liedem, Hightown, Darren Thompson, that's your favourite, Tin Pot Boris and Treadwell Shawl for Graham Clutterbuck. Tammy Zalondis, Ryan Costello, Little Dean Guidance, James Shea, Sarka for Martin Liedem, Kyle Rare, Thomas Rogers, Yes Hollywood, Derek Hinton, Herbalistic Rumpus, Ryan Costello and Zulu Queen completes the lineup, And they're off and running. And a very different and perhaps less picturesque course than the one at Orte where I've just come back from to provide some of these commentaries here for these Hunters Chasers today. I'll bring you a couple of the Hunters races and they're all over that first fence safely and swinging left-handed here. They've got 11 flights to jump over the minimum distance of two miles. A couple of these looking to follow up on some pretty promising performances last time out. I'm sure there's more people here than just those six that are standing, five or six, yeah, six of them there just standing in the middle of the race course. There your avid race goers, your diehard fans, your purists here to watch some hunter chases today. So as they all go over that next flight and they all get over it pretty safely there. So Little Dean Guidance is running with half a length and advantage over Sarka for my co-commentator Martin Leadham as they come to the next and the front two over it quite nicely. Admiral Ascoli putting a good jump as well. That's Martin Leadham's other runner. And uh, Kyle, I think there was one of them wasn't particularly quick at that one, but no severe mistake as the camera angle was a little bit deceptive and didn't give me the best view as they came over that last fence. There you go, you can see a lot more race goers in the background there as they cross over that mud path there and come past some of the marquees in the background. People here are enjoying a good day out and why not as they come over the next little guidance still has the lead but has extended it now to a couple of lengths over Sarka who's just racing in behind that pace as is Yes Hollywood and Zulu Queen the two black horses in third and fourth position and then it's a pretty bunched pack after that where we've got High Town, Tin Pop Boris, Treadwell Shan as they come over the next Sarka smashed into that one just didn't take off early enough and that allowed Yes Hollywood to come up alongside it and Sarka just being ridden along for a couple of paces there uh, to avoid being swallowed up by that chase and pack. So yes, Hollywood and Sarka are racing. A good four lengths off the leader now, but and they're perhaps put in slightly better jumps there, and that means the gap is halved, and little Dean Guidance still travelling strongly enough in front as we come into the final six furlongs. One that's been pushed along to make some progress on the outside is Tin Pot Boris, and that's moved into contention really smoothly. Zulu Queen's just sitting in there behind. Yes, Hollywood and Sark is finding things unfolding a little bit too quickly for it at the moment. It's been ridden along, and Admiral Ascoli perhaps going the better of the two for Martin Leadham at the moment. So four and a half furlongs to go. Still little Dean Guidance has the lead maybe a bit cautious at that one and wasn't particularly quick over it and you can see the jockey's getting hard to work on the other side to maintain the advantage but perhaps not traveling as well as the few in behind it but it's probably responding for pressure a little bit more and now he has got the majority of these horses off the bridle and looking for something to burst out the pack to start chasing this long time leader little dean guidance down and if anything it's extending the lead but kyle rea is the one that you might expect is going to lay down the biggest challenge so we're into the final two furlongs they've swung off that bed and into the home straight and they come over the second last Little Dean Guidance got over it but wasn't super quick and Admiral Ascoli and Hightown are now the ones that are really bursting out of the pack and staying on and they've swallowed Little Dean Guidance as they come to the last oh the Hightown didn't get over it well at all and that's allowed Admiral Ascoli to go on as we're into the final half of Furlong and fast approaching the line Admiral Ascoli is going to take the Bragon Hunters chase for Martin Leadham Really good jumping performance from that one. Definitely took to the obstacles better than Sarka, the stables of the horse. High Town looked like it was going to match it stride for stride, but just didn't get over the last well enough at all. And then didn't have enough time to stay on and fight back to battle against Admiral Ascoli, who wins this at 20 to 1 from High Town, who went off the 9 to 4 favourite in the end for Darren Thompson. That has to settle for runner up. Little Dean Guidance, third for James Shea. Tim Pop Boris, fourth for Graham Clutterbuck. And fifth was Zulu Queen for Alex Cherry.